Uh, you never know sitting on my uh, front porch and uh, still recovering from my uh, attempts to fly uh, but I got one more week and I go see the doctor and he'll tell me I'm, I'm shockingly in good shape or whatever he's going to tell me <clears throat> it's such, oh, it's just in my throat mostly that I worry about okay oh yeah played uh, Friday night uh, here in Nashville with uh, Mary Gaucher, Verlin Thompson, and uh, Beth Nielsen Chapman at this event. I don't know how to describe it, but it was really nice. A really nice group of people. And it was like a writer's in the round, and it was sort of my first time out since uh, falling. And it turned out really nice, and I had a good time. So every Tuesday, as you know, you never know posts after the evening news. I guess that's true. And you can listen to my free fall radio show on WXNA. Okay, that's my kind of radio show. It's from 11 till noon uh, Central Time. Uh, 101.5 on your FM dial. Well, you should listen to it on your uh, computer. Uh, that's the best way. Okay, this Saturday night, <coughs> November 12th, in, uh, Bals at Balsam Mountain Inn near Waynesville, North Carolina in the round with Ann McHugh and Peter Cooper and that'll be real fun I'm looking forward I'm, I look forward to anything I say I'm looking forward to stuff and just thinks I'm not you think I'm not being sincere but I, these are people I really like and speak and also this uh, this next one coming up the Bluebird Cafe on November 15th in the round with Scott Miller Tim O'Brien and Abby Gardner, and uh, you get in the round with uh, Tim O'Brien. He makes you feel like you're playing guitar with boxing gloves on. He's just a brilliant musician. We've written some songs together, so that's going to be nice. And Abby Gardner, uh, uh, she sang or sings with, I don't know if they're still performing, uh, Red Molly. Uh, it's a really good group, and we wrote a song, a really nice song together. And Scott Miller, who I don't know as well, but I've heard him play, and he's, he's a fabulous songwriter. So, you know, it's going to be good. November 30th through December 3rd on tour with uh, Ward Stout, fiddle player. Uh, we're going to play in Little Rock at the Whitewater Tavern, Fort Worth at the Live Oak Music Hall, San Marcos, Colville with Kevin Welch at the Cheatham Street Warehouse and in Houston at the UniTunes Concert Series. Uh, look for shows in New Orleans, uh, whoa, are you kidding me? San Antonio and the great state of Oregon in January. Wow, okay, I will. Uh, and for anything else, uh, davidonly.com. Okay, so let's play a song, all right? <clears throat>
Tomorrow will never begin Forever will come to an end The sun will fall from the sky The moment I tell you goodbye The sun will fall from the sky The moment I tell you All right, that's uh, the moment I tell you goodbye, and uh, I did that on uh, Dutchman's Curve. And uh, yeah, uh, Jack Irwin uh, produced that and did. Yeah, we had a nice string section at the end of that song come in uh, that was done by the brothers Henry. And uh, I'm really proud of that record. If you haven't heard it, you know, please check it out. And. Uh, you know, as far as the writing of that song, uh, I think that I'd, I'd gone to, I'd made myself go see an opera, and it was one, I think it was Rigoletto, and uh, it had this little tune, it was the only thing I could remember from the opera, and I kind of tried to keep it in my head, I think it's, I got close to it in that, uh, and uh, it's, I wanted to have <coughs> words that were kind of seemed kind of nonsensical, but yet there was this, uh, underneath it all was kind of a, you know, a deeper, you know, base to it. It's something that uh, John Prime does really well. Anyway, you can see I'm still kind of goofy from this stuff. Uh, all that, uh, the pain pills and stuff make you emotional. It's really strange. Uh, but on the other hand, Beats the alternative, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, look at these. Oh, posters. That's uh, for the Balsam Mountain Inn. And this one with Ward Stout. Me getting the feeling there. That's what this is. Okay, this one, it's kind of hard to explain, but that's uh, me and Kevin Welch right there, uh, dressed up as Cub Scouts, which is kind of a frightening concept. All right, hope you're doing good. I'll see you next week. You never know.